Hey everybody, my name is Bob. Uh, welcome to this uh, look at Oblitus. Uh, this is gonna be like a pseudo review, sort of. Uh, Oblitus is quite an interesting game and there's quite a lot to talk about as well. So, um, give it a start here. One thing, one thing I would say about the game is when, when you, when I booted up the game, it, it took like a million years to load. Like my, like by, by the time this game loaded in, I've had a wife and two child, or two children. Oh, fuck. Sorry, English is not my uh, first language, but you know they, they grew up and have have children of their own. So uh, I I don't know if that's an issue with the developer or is that an issue with my laptop, um, you know. But I'm pretty sure it's, it's probably an issue with my laptop, my top of the line fucking school laptop that somehow managed to run video games. But anyway, this is a blitz. It's um, it's an interesting game um, that that have quite a few different flaws to it. Um, so. The, the first flaw that, that you will see right away is the art style. I I don't dig this art style like at all, man. Like I, I don't know I don't know why. Uh, may, may, maybe you would like it. I, I do. I will admit the main character looks really nice, um, but the animation is a little bit janky, and a lot of the enemies are not that attractive. But you know, like the, the enemies though. But it's kind of like the game just doesn't look that attractive to me, and I, I don't know why. Uh, so so the game has. Um, has a lot of different things about it. There, there's jumping, um, there's like you know platforming, jumping, and yada yada. And it, there's also like this this kind of cool kind of Dark Soul esque in 2D combat system going on. Um, you you could do things like uh, you could stab people, um, you could chuck your spears at them, you could actually block like this, and you could also parry. Um, there, there's like a parry system. I, I I love the way he wave his shield. Like in Dark Souls, like when you're when you parry, you can't wave the shield like you. Yeah. With like purpose, this guy's going like, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, like it's kind of it's kind of weird. Um, but it's kind I, I mean, it's not weird. It's kind it's kind of funny. Uh, the 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 control is actually is pretty good. Jumping feel a bit floaty at times, but uh, but the um, but the 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 way jumping work in this game feels really good. It's it kind of have like um, like it's kind of kind of weird comparison. But it kind of has like a assassin creed esque. Kind of, kind, kind of jump system where, where a lot of it is, um, it just, you know, is is more free forming than it is precision. It's, it's more, it's more about just creating that that really cool feeling of you soaring through the air than it is about you know, tightly landing on platforms. You know, and then and then if if, if you know, if um, like I'll, I'll tell you right now, the, the the my favorite thing about jumping this game, this move, is amazing. You roll and like when you roll and then jump right afterward, your um, your character flies like 20 million feet. Like ah, look at that! Like it's really cool and it it, it feels really nice. Um, feel really nice and I, I don't even mind like the the floatiness of it because this game doesn't have a lot of precision jumping or at least not in this in this particular level. But like just look at the way this guy jump. Like he doesn't give a shit. Um, those are probably like health. Um, the, the the story in this game is pretty non-existent so far. It's it's it's, it's kind of like you're this guy. You don't have any kind of memory of who you are or what you or what you do. You just kind of respond in here. Um, the only weapon you have is the spear. Uh, the and the the spear do a lot of different things. You could you know um, do a lot of different things. I have some cool interaction so like you see that torch. If I throw the spear through the torch, my spear will become fire. And so that that's pretty. Ah, oh, fuck! I fucked it up. So that's uh that's pretty nice and um and the I'll, I'll talk more about the combat when when I start fighting uh you know like uh, actual enemies that that uh that that would duel with you with like a weapon and not those you know dinky little little guys oh like like these guys right here uh, so when you, the combat you could do things like you could parry them like so um the the the, the parry isn't quite as impactful as something like Dark Souls you know like in Dark Souls when it's very difficult to pull up a parry in Dark Souls. But uh, when you do, it is a supremely satisfying feeling because you know you you just fucking you, you parry them and then they they you know they, they tumble backward and then you just fucking stab them right in the goddamn dick. Um, oh wait, uh, this I didn't know this. When you walk near fire, your spear will become fire as well. That, that that's really cool actually. Um, uh, so so far as far as I know, the the spear have only interacted with uh with fire. Um, I, I don't know if there's anything else I'd interact with. I know it doesn't interact with water because how, how the fuck is it gonna, you know, we're just gonna get 
get slightly damp. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how that would work. It's slightly moist. Oh wow, this is a big guy. Um, the the combat in this game is not that difficult. I said as I as I uh, as I die. Uh, and also apparently the whole thing is just like a rope like because when, when you die they just throw you back to the beginning. Um, and also every time you spawn in the the levels are they're, they're all random, they're all randomly generated. Um, so if, if you're into that kind of stuff, and I am into that kind of stuff, you would like it a lot. Um, is is one of those kind of games. There, there are actually two style of control. Um, you could use the 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 game the gamepad, just like how I'm doing. You could also use mouse and keyboard. Weirdly enough, I think the mouse and keyboard feels better because for the gamepad, what you have to do is the right stick. You use it to aim, and but then you also need to use A and B, the 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 face button. To do to do rolls and maneuvers, but the the thing about that is that, that that basically means that you have to constantly move from the 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 face button over to the right stick uh, in in situation where you need to both aim your 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 projectile attacks and you know like roll out of the way of shit. So it's it's it's, it's, it's it feel kind of it feel kind of awkward at times. Uh, it's it's not that big of a deal, but um you know it it might be and uh, and that's that's the thing. But like. But like, the good thing about that is it doesn't actually affect any of, of the actual like jumping and the jumping is like like just see the way I just flew through the air there. It feels great. Like if 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 you think just looking at it, um, looking at it, um, it looks great. Then man, you need to like you need to like actually play it for yourself because it feels amazing. Um, the the combat is also kind of Dark Soul esque. Except it's not it's not quite as tight. Uh, it's not quite as tight, and and blocking doesn't actually do much. Like parrying will actually leave them open, but you know, like in, in Dark Souls, usually blocking will, will leave them open, and parrying would just would just be like a insta kill kind of, kind of thing. Um, in in here, kind of like blocking just protects you, and then parrying will actually leave them open, which is kind of interesting. But uh, but it's alright. Let me try to jump this way. Oh, there you go. Uh, there you go. Like the the roll into a jump, it's it's great. It feels so good, and it's it's um it's it's something like I, I would love to have this game to play this game just without a combat, just with like environment where I could just jump through like you know these 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 structures here. Um, the something that I didn't notice until now, but the the game environment could be pretty pretty ah oh, dude get stabbed. Uh, could could be pretty confusing at times because you. Like sometimes I can't tell what's a platform and what is just, you know, ambient. Um, yeah, so it's 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 a little bit janky. It's uh, I, I won't lie, it's a little bit weird. But uh, yeah. all right, ah fuck. So fuck those plants to death. Uh, parry him and stab him. Um. Oh, also like the 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 hitboxes. Well, not, not, not the hitbox, but like the collision in this game is kind of weird. Like a lot of times the enemy can walk right through you. And that's, and like that, that's not good for like, for like a game where positioning and where, you know, your, your combat positioning is really important because you, you don't want the enemy behind you. Right. Um, I don't know what this purple river thing is, but it looks really bad. And uh, 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 again, like the, the, the art in this game, man, like it, I, I just don't think it looks that good at all, dude. And, and I, I don't know, I don't know how to. I mean, I just don't think it looks that good. Um, so let's try to kill this guy here. This guy may look big, but he's basically just like a bigger version of the other guys. And, um, oh, I'm almost dead. Uh, my health bar is up at the top there. It's kind of away, like it's kind of away from the action, so it's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, let's climb up here. Um. Oh, you actually climb up these stairs too, and it feels nice. Uh, jumping in this game feels really good. Like it, it just straight up feel really, really good. Okay, did I? Am I going the right way? But yeah, that, that's another thing too. Like the level, it could be like really sprawling like this, and it it will confuse the living fuck out of you. Um, like you sometimes you won't know where to go, and and also there's like, you know, it's it's random, so it's it's gonna it, it'll fuck with you. Um, but uh, you know, parrying is pretty easy. As a matter of fact, like as you can see, I can just not parry there and died. Uh, but yeah, so 
basically this is all you have seen of the game. Um, the the the. Well, I, I I guess I should push on until you see like a, like a boss fight because I think the boss fight are the actual highlights of, of this game and where you know like the spear thrown and stuff. It's gonna be really important. But other than that, Ob Oblitus is is a very simple game. There's no I don't want to say there's no depth to it because there, there's some depth to the to the combat and and it takes a little bit of time to master. Um, and and so if you if you're into that kind of stuff, you would like it. Uh, other than that, I I feel like if you just just kind of into like the the Assassin's Creed style of platforming where you just kind of freely you know jumping and climbing and it just kind of like hey see that platform over there i'm gonna get to it uh in, in whatever way i can uh then you would like it if, if you're if you're here looking for like a super meat boy style of you know precision combat you pre precision not combat like platforming you're not gonna find it here um if, if you're here to look for like a like a like a slightly less satisfying you know slightly less tight well, not slightly less tight. It's a lot less tight uh, uh, combat than Dark Souls. That's also in 2D. I, I think you would like it. Uh, other than that, if you dig the art style, man, I, I I have a feeling that that I might be in the minority when it comes to this art style because I I do love the way the main character looks. Like the the way the main character looks, like the mask that that he wears, it's really cool. I, I I do like it a lot. But but man, like the enemy looks so bad and the environment looks bad and I don't know. The the, the game just gotta look kind of bad. But this game is on Steam right now. It's only fifteen dollars. Well, I don't want to say only fifteen dollars. Oh, look, look at fucking Bob over here. You know, got a fucking disposable income. Fifteen dollars, nothing to him. Uh, no, you know, it's it's fifteen dollars. It's a lot cheaper than a lot of other games. Um, you know, it's it's five cups of coffee basically. Um, and I know, I know, I I've been using that 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 metric a lot. Is to like that that's the kind of life I'm leading. This is how you know that you live in in like a college environment. When you measure the worth of something by the amount of coffee that you could trade it in for, um, so you know this word like five cups of coffee is is it's pretty good. I I I think it's relatively good. Is not it, it won't be my favorite game this year, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the the man the platforming feels really good, and the and and the combat could be really cool if a little bit janky at time. If you can just ignore like the art style and you just kind of in this for for like the purely mechanical kind of gameplay. Stuff, then then you would then you would like this game I think and and um, you know I, I I feel like this could be like a great game for I don't know like this now like late speedrunners would love this game I think um, but uh, other than that my my name has been Bob and this has been like a pseudo review of of this um, uh, check out this check this game out on Steam uh, if you if you like my video please hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more um, and. And uh, yeah, other than that, I will see you next time with another video, or perhaps with a review of something else. I, I saw I saw this game called Black Hole that, that that came out like a day after this game, and Black Hole was a look really interesting, so I might take a look at that as well. Um, so other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.